we have two properties which neither the set of rational numbers nor the set of real numbers can claim. One of those two properties will be this, the well-ordering principle, or the WOP. I'll be having another video that will talk about the other property, and that is the principle of mathematical induction. So yeah, the principle of well-ordering, or WOP, is only valid for the set of integers and not for the rational numbers nor for the real numbers, unless by lucky coincidence. So let's check well ordering principle. It states that if D is a subset of the set of integers, then either the set D is empty, or set D contains a least element, or set D contains arbitrarily small integers. We have a note here that these three statements are mutually exclusive. It means that no set of integers can simultaneously satisfy both, say for example, A and C. Let's picture this out more with these four examples. We have item number one that contains elements that are integers such that the square of that integer is positive. Set 2, or the second item here, would still have integers such that a squared is negative. Item 3 would be having integers as elements such that 2a plus 1 is greater than 6. And lastly, this set that has all integers as its element such that 3a would be equal to 4. Now, note that, again, well-ordering principle, or WOP, would only be valid for the set of integers or subsets of integers. So let's check their classification. Since the set has integers as its element, then let's start with negative integers. And let's have negative 1 then as our letter A. So as for negative 1, note that when we square negative 1, the answer is still positive. Hence, negative 1 would still be part of this set. As for negative 2, if we are to square that, the answer is still positive. Note that all the negative integers will satisfy the predicate of this set. Hence, this set will have all the negative integers. How about zero? Since zero is neither negative nor positive, therefore, it will not satisfy this predicate. As for positive integers, clearly, if we are to square an integer, automatically the answer is still positive. Hence, all the set or all the positive integers will still be listed in the set. One way to classify a set according to type with respect to WOP is to try to enlist first all the elements, if there are, in that given set so that you would know what type it is. Could it be type A, type B, or type C? Let's draw out the three types so that we'll be guided. So, clearly, Item 1 is not empty because we are able to list elements. Therefore, it will not be or it is not type A. How about type B? Does it contain a list element? Definitely not. Notice that we have here negative integers. So we cannot pinpoint really a list element. Does it contain arbitrarily small integers? Yes. Why? Type C would also mean that whenever you choose an element in that set, there will always be a number less than that. Clearly, 
if we'll try to pick an element in this item or in this in this set say positive one there will always be a number less than that all right the same manner type c would also mean that if you cannot find a least element in the set knowing that that set is not also empty then that set would right away contain infinitely small integers or arbitrarily small integers so generally speaking this set contains small integers let's have this time item number two as noted earlier for us to classify the given set easily let's try to enlist if we can enlist elements of the given set so let's look for an integer or some integers that when we square that integer the square would be a negative can you find one clearly just like in number one whenever we square an integer it will always be positive except for zero so we cannot find an integer that when we square that integer it will be negative that's the reason why item number two or the set in item number two would be of type a and for note taking the set in item number one would be of type c let's have item number three this time So here, we'll try to list elements of the set of integers that would satisfy the predicate 2a plus 1 greater than 6. If you do trial and error, like considering a could be 1, that's 2 times 1 plus 1, and that's 3, 3 is not greater than 6. So solving this inequality, Notice that A should be greater than 5 halves or A should be greater than 2.5. Since our A here is an integer, clearly the A that we will be considering would be starting from 3 to positive infinity. So we have 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Those integers which are less than a or less than 2.5 will not satisfy the predicate 2a plus 1 greater than 6. Now that we're able to list the elements in this set, clearly it will not be of type a because it's not empty. How about type b? Do we have a list element? yes and that is three so item number three or the set in item number three is of type b last set we have here an integer that should satisfy 3a equals 4 now, if we'll try to solve 3a equals 4, or to know the solution in that equation, we have here 3a equals 4, and clearly a should be equal to 4 thirds. This is the only value for a that could satisfy the equation 3a equals 4. But since we'll only consider as well a, which is an integer and the solution here is not an integer then no integer could satisfy 3a equals 4 we cannot list an integer that will satisfy 3a equals 4 making the set in item number 4 empty so here just in case 
classifying sets with respect to WOP will still not be easy or will still not be clear for you, don't worry, I'll be having another video that will have more sets to consider there to classify the given set if it's of type A, type B, type C. Alright, so see you in that video and I'll also be having another video that will discuss, as mentioned earlier, another property of the set of integers which is the principle of mathematical induction. Alright, see you!